Hey guys, it's Charles D'Angelo. I'm trying to get in the habit of sending out a video at least once a week, typically on Saturdays when I have the most time after my workout, just to give you some thoughts, things to think about as you're continuing or maybe just beginning your own transformation. Whether or not you're working with me or using my book, Think and Grow Thin, or you're doing some approach on your own. Nonetheless, I was thinking today as I was working out, I recently read an interesting quote that someone once said. They said that when you go for a walk with someone, as odd as this might sound, one of two things happens. Either person A adjusts to person B's walk, or person B adjusts to person A's walk or pace. That was kind of interesting, and I began to think about that, saying to myself, you know, whose walk are we all really adjusting to? In other words, the people you spend your time with, whether or not you're aware, usually you begin to think like them, accept the things they accept, do the things they do, and sooner than you know it, you are living a lifestyle that's comparable to theirs. Uh, they say that people that are in a group of friends or a group of colleagues, typically their income levels are rather similar as well. Now you've got to ask yourself, if you're unhappy with your present health or your present financial circumstance or anything really in your life that's not up to the standard that you really want it to be, who are you spending your time with? What are you occupying yourself with as far as your thinking is concerned? Because we know that any outward change is a result of changing inwardly first. So if you're really thinking about things the same way that the people you grew up with that didn't live up to the standards that you now have set for yourself live, are you going to be able to really fulfill your max potential? And of course, I think you know the answer is no. You've got to really put yourself in a new peer environment. You've got to raise your game. You never get better by playing a sport with someone that's worse than you, do you? I mean, it might be fun for a while because the sheer idea that you're better is exciting, right? I mean, from your ego's perspective, wow, I'm better and I can do a lot more than this person can do. But over time, <laughs> your edge, what has separated you from the rest, gets worn down because you're not advancing yourself, you're not making the distinctions or the changes that really would enhance your performance in whatever area or domain we're talking about. So, my tip for you today as you think about this video is, ask yourself, what are the standards, the expectations, the lifestyles like of those that you're around most of the time? And you know, if you don't have the opportunity to spend your time with people that are playing life at a higher level, that maybe are earning more money than you earn, that live more healthy than you live right now, you, there's some really wonderful opportunities all around you. We live in an age right now where the internet offers you the opportunity to have a mentor virtually. Go on YouTube and type in your role model and see what they eat, see what they do, look how they live, and sooner than you know it, you can have the same type of experience, the same type of result that they have because you're willing to do the things that they do. The only difference between you and your ideal is a set of standards, the behaviors, the choices, the rules that you're living by now probably aren't nearly up to par to those that you will need to live by and aren't as specific as the rules you'll need to live by and the things you'll need to do to have the quality of life you want. But what's more exciting than being able to know that no matter where you are right now, if you're willing to change those choices to set a new standard for yourself, to put yourself in a new peer environment, to really spend some time feeding your mind as well as your body with the right things, you can experience those same unbelievably rewarding results that you see in those that you admire. So just think about that today and make sure you're spending your time with people that are lifting you up, that are putting positive thoughts in your mind, that are keeping you focused on making the distinctions that are going to lead you to a life that's not only a successful life, but one that's very fulfilling. Have a great weekend and I'll talk to you soon.